everybody's talking about their matchmaker results. Hey JP, who's on your list? What number? I don't know, am I on there? Yeah, you're number 16. You're not on my list. Mm -hmm. What about you, Michelle? Um, neither one of y'all are on my list. But Red is. Yeah. He's my, my number three. Yeah. Oh. That makes me sad. But JP, you're on my list. Yes! Hey right, guys, what y'all doing? Looking at our matchmakers. Yeah. No. Well, why not? I'm not really interested. I already have a boyfriend. Yeah. Well, I did just for the fun of it. I didn't see Same here. Well, I think I should go get mine. They're only like $2 in the cafeteria. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Matchmaker results are on sale today during lunches. They're only $2. Just do it for the fun of it. Yeah. Okay, for those of you who wanted to go to student council convention for state convention and you signed up to go, I need you to come by and see me two days so I can verify that you are going to attend and to give you some information. Payment has changed and also we had one person drop out. So if you're one of the people who were on the list who wanted to go and you couldn't go because you thought we were full, please come by and see me. But again, I need you to come today because I've got to turn the numbers in before this day is over. It's Thursday, March 11th. We're so close to spring break you can almost taste it. On this day in history in 1997, former Beatle Paul McCartney became Sir Paul McCartney when he was knighted by Queen Elizabeth II. In 2009, Toyota announced that they have sold their one millionth hybrid vehicle. In 1989, the TV show Cops made its debut, and so far, I haven't seen anyone I recognize on there. In 1818, Mary Shelley's book Frankenstein was published. Has anyone read that book yet? And that's a look at what happened in the past. Now let's see what's going on in the present. Good morning, Pirates. Today is Thursday, March 11, 2010. Once again, the NHS is out for blood. There will be a blood drop from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. in the gym after spring break on Tuesday, March 23rd. You can sign up in the counselor's office or during lunches through this Friday. Seniors who give blood twice can be a part of the Red Cord Honors Program. See Ms. Hodge for more information. Environmental Club is collecting eyeglasses, ink cartridges, and cell phones for recycling. Bring them to room 208. Also, clean out your closets and bring your old coats to share with the homeless. Your donations can save a life. Prom is set for Friday, April 2nd, up on the 38th floor of the Sheraton in downtown Dallas. What a view. It'll be lots of fun with food and dancing. A DJ will be there to play your favorites. Get your tickets from Ms. Goodson in the counselor's office. $60 for CHS seniors, $80 for CHS juniors, and $100 for anyone else. Hurry, no tickets will be sold after March 26th. Athletic Booster Club scholarships applications are now available in the counselor's office. They are due back by April 1st. Seniors, bring a copy of your college acceptance letter to the counselor's office so we can proudly display your name and college on the board in the counselor's hall. Attention seniors, it's time to round up your photos for the senior slideshow, which will be shown during the senior day assembly and just before graduation. So gather up your snapshots and turn them into Ms. Stamper in the front office or you can email them to Mr. Strzok at jstruck at crandallisd.net by Friday, April 30th. 10th and 11th grade students that are wanting to take dual credit college classes need to take the THEA. And any seniors that need to take it can do so here Wednesday, March 24th. The cost is $39 and you'll need to sign up in the counselor's office. You'll need a four function cal calculator. No graphing calculators are allowed. Oh, and congratulations to Taylor Thomas for advancing to the state powerlifting meet in Corpus Christi, Texas on March 20th. Good luck, Tay. Track shirts are now on sale for $10 in Ms. Hildebrand's room. Don't want a track shirt? Well, you can probably get all types of assorted spirit shirts from her. Stop by and check out her inventory of pirate shirts and hoodies. Come see the wedding singer tonight and tomorrow night in the cafeteria. Doors open at 6.30 and $5 get you in. Crandall Boys Golf Invitational was Tuesday at Creekview Golf Club. Eleven teams competed and Crandall took first with a score of 353. Individually, Taylor Johnson led the tournament with a score of 78. Rogers Wendell was in second. He shot an 82. Way to go, guys. I'm Colby. And I'm Taylor. Have, Have a teeny tiny Thursday. The Pirate Press is at it again. Senior James Thompson was the star of the show at the Dallas Morning News journalism competition. He walked away with five first place plaques, including the sweepstakes, which earned him a $100 cash bonus. Chase Wade, James Thompson, Savannah Serville, Shelby Hughes, Gabby Beich,
Camille Doster and Casey Byford each received first place for their stories in the Three Men, One Cause issue about firefighters donning pink to fight breast cancer. Our newspaper, the Pirate Press, was the only public school in our category to be nominated as Best Newspaper. In addition to Best Newspaper, our online newspaper was also nominated as Best Online Newspaper. Chase Wade leaves on Saturday to fly to Washington for the Free Spirit Conference at the Museum. His itinerary has him meeting Tom Brokaw, Carl Rove, as well as many others. We're proud of you guys. This is Chris before he received his matchmaker printout. And this is Chris after he received his matchmaker printout. 